Hi everybody, welcome to the blog. And I just wanted to um this is our this is day two of my project life introduction to you guys. And it's just all about um this week is gonna be all about project life information, uh how I'm incorporating it into my life, what I'm doing, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, one of the things when I furiously for like three days began to research Project Life and what it was, I felt like I am not going to buy a bunch of stuff when I have a room full of stuff. Like, I mean, for the last year and a half, I've been slowly building up my Stampin' Up! supplies. And it's like I feel like I just got to a point where... I don't need any more stamp pads. I don't need any more paper. Like, I'm finally at a great place. And one of the things that I was fearful when I first started looking into this system was the fear of having to buy a bazillion more things. So the great news is, is that you don't have to. Um, the thing that I started out with, I love how um, Becky Higgins, you can get... I'll talk about the page protectors first. You can get, so the great thing is, is that you can just get each one of these products separately. The whole kit is the page protectors, the core kit of paper, and then an album. So if you have nothing and you really want a scrapbook, you can get the whole thing um, and that's all you would need. The page protectors, the core kit of paper comes with an insane amount of paper and then the album and with that you could do a whole year worth of a scrapbook but if you're like me and you already have a bunch of stuff and you don't want to spend any more money you can just get the page protectors and so what I did is I started out and I got um, the page protectors and you get 60 page protectors for $24.99 and you get that on Amazon and so what I did is um, I got it just the page protectors just come like this and you have the different styles of page protectors and um, I don't really know if you can see very well you might want to just go up. Uh, maybe I'll put the design of each page protector on the blog post. But so you get all these page protectors and there's 10 each of each design. So there's six different designs and then you get 10 of each. So that's a really good way to um, kind of try out and see which design you're going to like better. And then you can go back and just purchase that design if you wanted. Or if you liked all the designs then when you needed more page protectors you could just get another big pack of um, page protectors and then the other thing that I purchased was I um, went ahead and I got these dividers so these are really great good quality dividers okay and then you get these labels and you have 15 dividers that you get now you get a set of stickers to go on the dividers that are that are blank that you can just, whatever you're doing, however you want to use the dividers, you write it on there. Then you get one for school. So you get play school, kindergarten, through um, grade 13. Then you have the months, which is what I used, January through December. And then you have a second set of preschool through 12th grade. Or I guess this is year 13. I guess this isn't... Well, yeah, grade 13 it says. So then you get another set that is um, through grade 12. And so they're really great, good quality protectors. And I'm going to use mine January through December. And then I'll have two extra dividers. And these were $7.99. So with Amazon, um, lots of things, if you order $25 or more, you get... It qualifies for free shipping and when I ordered mine 20 um, this the page protectors and the dividers qualified for free shipping so I didn't even have to pay shipping for it and it came super fast um, it was with with it was at my house within a few days so then I did go ahead and I mentioned yesterday that I did get some 6 by 12 page protectors because I wanted to try them out and I really wasn't exactly sure 
if I would like them. Turns out I love them, and I'll be getting more and doing lots more 6x12, but American Crafts carries a 6x12, but I just went ahead and I got the Becky Higgins brand. I just um, wanted to... I just kind of wanted them to be the same since I wasn't sure about the system. So that's what I um, got from the Becky, H Becky Higgins product line is I got those three things. So then the next thing that I purchased, which I had been wanting one of these anyways for a long time, and I think I've mentioned on my video a couple videos that I've wanted one of these corner rounders, but I couldn't, I couldn't find them out here. Like I couldn't... Um, in California I couldn't find them and Wendy got one um, last year and she found hers in Washington and so um, I, I went ahead and I got one of these because a couple of the videos I watched um, a couple of the gals had said that they liked the fact that this was a there's two different size of the corner rounder there's a quarter inch and then there's a half an inch and so I've been corner rounding all my stuff at a quarter inch and I've really been liking it. So the other thing that I picked up is I just picked up some, um, these are eight by eight page protectors and they're American crafts. And then I picked up some eight and a half by 11 page protectors. And then I had some eight and a half by 11. And then I also have these smaller ones and, um, you can pretty much make any page protector work. I mean, you might have to punch some holes differently than what they're already there. But like I said, with these, they have like kind of this lip right here. And so I, I'll just be trimming off my hole that doesn't match up and then putting my own in there. So because I just want I love I love the idea of being able to use different um page protector sizes in in these albums. So then the only other thing that I went ahead and I purchased is I did purchase these. They're called, um, they're for the Smash albums and they are just journaling sheets. And I just thought that it would be sort of nice to just have um, some quick kind of conversation starters or types of tags to put in my albums that would be quick and these aren't very expensive I got mine on Amazon and um, I got them for like a dollar 25 a piece and then I saw in Michaels I was there the other day and I saw that they were a dollar 99 a piece and so they're not very expensive and you get 30 of them and I just thought it would be fun to incorporate them so you guys that's all I purchased and then what I've been doing is I just have a box and I um have just been these were all these were a bunch of um four by six pieces that I had and I thought like that I never really knew what to do but I thought that would be cute um, cause it just says friends. Here's like a birthday one I thought would be cute. And so I just have this box and what I've been doing is like, if I think I might use it again, uh, as like a journaling block or something, I've been throwing it in this box. And so I don't even have very many, but like, I thought this was really, um, like a neutral type thing that I could probably use again and so I've just been kind of throwing them in this box and then I have just some solid cardstock that I had laying around and it's a great way to use those scraps and so that's really all you need to do project life and I showed you guys when and showing you guys my albums uh, pages that I had done yesterday you saw that I didn't even use those particular page protectors for my layouts for 2011. I just used the basic idea as a guide and then I just glued my pictures down. So anyways, that is um, day two of Project Life and the basic things you need. I'll have a link on this blog post under this video of where I got everything and um, so in case you're you know wanting to to try it out. So come back tomorrow 
and I will be showing you more about Project Life and make sure you go over to Wendy's blog. She has Project Life stuff going on this week too. And so hopefully you guys are getting information. If you have any questions, just send me an email or leave a comment and I will be happy to answer them. I'm not, like by any means, I'm not an expert on Project Life yet. It's just something that I'm very excited about. I'm having a lot of fun with and I'm still, you know, learning things, researching things, watching people, um, you know, getting inspiration from other people. So, you know, just let me know what, what you guys are thinking about it and if you're trying it, okay? And we'll see you tomorrow.